The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. In this video I'm going to show you how you can do the front elevation doors and windows and this is for the final cabin project in your technical drafting book. This is chapter 12 and what I'm going to go ahead and do is just set a construction line layer current. I'll just make it layer 0 for the sake of this and I'm going to do a construction line V for vertical and let's just project down all the features that we need to have here. So I've got the center of this window the center of this window, the center of this window, and let's do the center of this door. I also need to project down that wall. Let me just copy an existing construction line. This wall right here, there's actually a change. We need to have a solid line right there in this front elevation. So let's go ahead and set the elevation layer current. Let me draw the lines that I need. And I actually need uh, the foundation actually stops right here and then goes back until it hits that little closet. So I've got that guy and I need to draw a line straight. Actually I can just go perfectly straight down on this one. So I'll go ahead and erase this one. That just that represents the wall, the end of the wall right there. So we learned in the other video that all of the doors and windows are six feet eight inches tall. So I'm gonna do an offset that's six feet eight inches from here all the way up and that way when I place my doors and windows in this is going to be where the tops of the doors and windows are. So the first window that I have is a 2830, a 2830. So I'm going to insert, we're going to go into the design center. Remember you made these in your cabin symbols drawing. So we'll go into blocks and we'll find the 28 door, I'm sorry, window and I will, I selected that as my base point. So I'll just come right in here, snap it right where it needs to go, and I don't need that construction line anymore. Looking good. Uh, the next two windows are both a 3040, three foot zero inch along the, along the X and four foot along the Y. So I'll just drag this block right in here. And I'm actually gonna copy because I've got two of these. So I'll pick it up from the midpoint and I'll just snap it here and snap it here. So to the intersection of my construction lines and that six foot eight inch. Don't need this one anymore and I'm going to bring in that door. So here's my door. I'm just gonna grab it, put it right into place. Now I can delete out that offset that was six foot, eight, six foot eight inches and I can delete out this construction line here. It's a little bit weird that what's going on right here. Um, there's a couple of ways that you can handle that. So you can either explode those windows or let me show you a new command that you probably haven't heard of before and it's called wipeout. So I love the wipeout command when you can get it right. I'm going to do the elevations and it's this guy right here. So check it out. I'm going to do wipeout and I'm just going to trim just trace over this area, press enter, and look what happens. It basically just drew a little shape exactly where I told it to be, but it hid what was behind it. And it's not that that's not there anymore, it's just hiding it. So I can do that, and let's do one more right down the middle of this window. Hmm, how can we do this? This might be a little more tricky because that white out, that wipeout is going to leave its own line here. But if we just go around the corners of these windows, hopefully, if all goes well, it'll just wipe out everything in between. Very good. So that stuff, as you see as I move this around, you can see those lines are still there. It's just kind of hiding those lines in the background. So that's it. I'm done putting in my doors and windows in the front elevation and I have uh, extended my line straight down for the foundation and I believe that's it. Um, Actually, I've got this little line right here needs to extend down, so I'll just grab him by the grip and pull him straight down. All right, that looks really good. Um, I do still need to do 
this little cedar post right here. And so I've got that cedar post. It's an 8 inch cedar post. So what I can do is I could um, project that straight down or since it's 8 inches straight from the edge I'll just do an offset here of 8 inches. So let's do an offset of 8 inches from there to there. Ooh, let's do wipe out again. Why not? So let's just wipe out that window behind there. All right, looking good. And I'm just going to trim that out. And that's it. So I've got my cedar post, kind of hides part of the window back there. I've got my door in place. I've got my wall in place. I've got my window in place. Let's go ahead and do a four inch trim, just so, as long as we're here. We'll go ahead and finish up the four inch trim on this thing. So offset four inches. I've got a four inch trim here and a four inch trim over here. Do the trim command. And I've already got the 4-inch trim over here on this side, so I think I'm pretty much done. This is looking good. So the only thing I have left are these front steps down here, and I'll, I'll pause and make a separate video just for that.